Hey everybody, it's Mike, and this is part 13 of the Chrono Trigger walkthrough. Uh, we're in Megas' castle, uh, just beat Ozzy, and uh, yeah, we're going to take Mr. Megas down. They had a, had a little cutscene here, it's kind of cool, and if you're playing on the PlayStation version. I don't know if they've uh, if they've made any changes. There's like a uh, I want to see there's a DS version now too, but I haven't played it. And I don't expect to. Uh, you know they usually make them. They usually add some cool stuff. Um, I should actually probably check out what they what they did do for the DS. But uh, anyways, you know, now that now that I'm going through this all on the PlayStation now, I have a hard time believing I'd be real interested in in playing the a DS version or something, you know, even if they added some more cool stuff, but who knows, you never know, maybe someday. I guess I'd have to buy a DS too, though. Or maybe they put it on PlayStation Network, who knows. Who even knows anymore? I've got a, I've got a Vita that's sitting around collecting dust that I haven't played since I picked up, uh, uh, what was that? Tactics, yes, the, uh, the re- Redone tactics. I don't know what you, I don't know what they're calling it now, but uh, they added some, added some stuff to it. They added uh, a couple new characters. I think uh, Bal Baltier. I don't know if that's the right way to say his name from Final Fantasy. I want to say twelve. Hopefully, I think it's, I think it's twelve. I can't, can't have enough troubles keeping them all straight now, but um. But yeah, I picked up the Vita for that and <laughs> kind of went through it and haven't really touched it since, so who knows, you know, maybe someday I'll find another use for it. But anyways, uh, so this is Mr. Magus. Um, I triggered, I just walked up and slashed him once just to trigger his barrier change. I think it's, the fight went okay. It was pretty, actually, frankly, it was pretty sloppy. I, uh... I believe I let Frog die once, and it's totally avoidable. If, if I would have just spent a little more time healing, you know, instead of trying to get him down really fast, which I don't, you know, I don't think it's that necessary. I really should have, probably should have just used haste, you know, haste on everybody and started healing up, but, um, being that his barrier changed to, uh, to ice right away, I just said, you know what, tack with it, and, and I started going to town on him right away. So every turn, I generally try to attack with Frog because the Mesmune keeps decreasing his magical defense. So that'll just make your spells do more damage, you yeah. know? So that's that's exactly what I did. I just kept, kept going to town on him. And here he cast, so he casted a spell. I want to see that said only shadow damage, but I just triggered a, I just hit him again to make him switch. Uh, so that's how this, that's generally how this fight works is, um, granted though, okay, so when you, when you just use your attacks with frog, your just regular attack is, uh, it'll only trigger the, the defense. Yeah, and then frog, frog croaked, oh, sad. Um, but anyways, so Frog will always trigger a uh, magic defense drop. So if you want to switch what he's weak to, you have to auto attack with someone, or use the attack command with somebody else. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I just kept switching until he'd get, you know, weak to either lightning or water. And uh, there we go, we got Frog back up and healed him. I just healed Chrono. He was getting real low too. And that was just an auto attack, or sorry, that was a a counter attack from Rage Band. It, uh, apparently, that spell that he used triggered it, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and then he was weak against Lightning, so I used Lightning too, which I don't know, 322. It's pretty weak. I didn't get a message there that said 
His magic defense decreased. That seems a little odd. Uh, maybe you can only do it so many times? I don't know. Plus, I'll have to watch and see if the message flashes back up. Magus risks casting a spell. Now here, anything goes. You can just go all out on him. It doesn't matter um, what tax you use on him. Yeah, that didn't reduce his magic defense either. Maybe it only triggers three times or something. I guess I should have been... I wasn't even paying attention when I took this. But uh, that's what it's looking like anyway. Maybe it was three. I guess it didn't count, you know, when I... Now, now again when I watch it, but... I guess, you know, if you attack him with frog and it doesn't do anything, or it doesn't reduce his magic, then the magic defense then you're free to do whatever else you want to do with him. That is just crushing. Yep, no message again. Huh, interesting. Never knew that. And here I just went for the mid ether because... Chrono was basically at MP and I wanted to keep using Ice Sword too because that was just crushing him. Yeah, I'm guessing this 1400 or so, that must have been the most... Yeah, it... I don't know. Maybe it seemed like that did a little more that time. Maybe not, I don't know. Strange. Maybe there's a little mechanic there that I'm not quite understanding. You know, or maybe it just, uh, maybe it does keep increasing his... Uh, or just keep reducing his magic defense, but it doesn't prompt. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe after three they figured you'd get the hint. I don't know. So anyways, so here we... We learned... Or we learned that Magus did not create Lavos. He's just summoned him. And he was actually... Are all going to try to defeat Lavos himself, which is uh, definitely not something that I expected the first time I played this. You know, I just assumed that, hey, man, this is the bad guy. Create Lavos, the dude that destroys the world. But yeah, not the case. Not the case at all. Um, so here, I believe we wake up in 65 million BC. Oh, that's right. Forgot about the... I don't know if this is a dream. I think it's a dream. Chrono's dream. Or, who knows? A glimpse of the future, perhaps? Dun, dun, dun. Honey, you'll be late for work. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to take it as Chrono's dream, but who knows? I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I keep sponging off my dad. So, it seems strange that her dialogue says, wake up, you'll be late for work. And then she tells him to go out and get a job. So, you know, and that you can't keep sponging off dad. So that's kind of weird. Maybe a little translation error? I don't know. Or maybe it's not supposed to make sense. Again, I don't know. We can only speculate. Or go on the internet and find the answer, because I'm sure it's out there. Alright. <laughs> so, Ayla wants to eat frog, because he looks tasty apparently. And those would be some really big frog legs. Perish the thought, perish the thought. So, um, she asks, or a frog asks, what about the blue haired one? Which I assume, you know, he means Magus. But, uh, apparently he didn't end up, he didn't end up here. And the north wood is burning. Super. Doesn't sound good. Only you can prevent forest fires. Or, you know, Ayla can start them or be the cause of them, I guess it would be. Ah, and here, I don't know why I stopped in here. I don't need any of this stuff, but you know what? If you do, right now is the time to grab it. It's the, uh, 
be upgraded, or all the items have been upgraded, other than, I guess, the ruby vest has not been upgraded yet, and I don't remember when it does. Maybe it's... Maybe it's after the next dungeon? I'm not sure, but, um... I believe he'll eventually ask if you want to trade. You can trade three of everything for, like, the upgraded version of the ruby vest, I believe it is, and I cannot remember the name of it right off the top of my head, but... Like I said, I think that's later. Anyway, I think it's after... Maybe after this next dungeon coming up. Guess we'll find out. I guess apparently I was interested in some magma hands. I don't know. It seems weird. Ah. I do weird things sometimes. Something sometimes I don't even I don't even know why. It's a mystery even to myself. Ah, uh, but anyway, so here's the Laruba village, I believe. It was called. I guess wasn't paying attention. Pretty sure it was Laruba. Apparently, Kino got abducted. Kino, Kino, Kin, Kino. Something like that. So here's a little interesting uh, clash of ideology between the chief of this tribe and Ayla. So, the chief of Laruba village basically says, hey, you know, the tyrant, or the, uh, the reptites are smart and they've, they've been around for longer than us, so that's why we need to hide and not fight. But uh, Ayla, on the other hand, is the opposite. She's, she says, nah, we're we are strong, and if you um, give us the, <laughs> the the pterodactyls, or the, they just call them dactyls, I guess. Uh, but she says they'll, she's going to go rescue um, the people, uh, Kino, and I think there's some Laruba villagers that got taken captive as well. So, kind of interesting, you know, a little clash of ideals, or ideas about how how they're gonna survive you know really so kind of interesting I ran from a few of these battles just to cut down time these things went down pretty fast though so I think I just took care of them um, but anyways so yeah that's we've been through here uh, or at least I have if this is your first time through obviously there'll be treasures for you um, I don't think there's anything real fantastic. There's the miso mail, which is actually the reason why I came here the first time. Uh, which is possibly an upgrade, you know, depending on uh, if you decided to power level or not. Um, if you if you didn't, you know, again, I think it'll probably be an upgrade because uh, you would not have access to. I believe it's the flash mail. I believe is what I have on the chrono. So, yeah. So that's an option, you know. Again, if it's your first time through. If not, then, well. Just uh, gaze at the empty boxes and uh, the spoils that you've already won, I guess. Um, but this this area is fairly quick. What is this? Three screens. Something like that. Four screens. Four areas. Pretty sure I ran from these guys too because man, these things are annoying. The cave apes, because the I found them un annoying because the animation time, because they'll pick up pick up people and throw them. You know, so I, that's the other thing they can do um, decent damage too to your party. They'll pick pick one person up and throw them at the other person, which you know does damage to both. Um, or they'll. I don't know if they can. I don't know if they hit the the volcanoes too, and then the the volcanoes erupt and do, uh, do do damage to your entire party. You know, so again, just kind of annoying fights that I think uh, <clears throat> I think we're 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 best avoided or skipped altogether. Um. Yeah, I think that's that. That was it. 
That was it for this area. Yeah, the rest of this is just dialogue and another cutscene. Another real short cutscene. And there's the red star. The ominous red star. You catch a glimpse of that a couple of times. So. <laughs> Time I know where is dangerous. So yeah, so we... She helped us, and I guess now it's our turn to help her. From the way... Tomorrow makes it sound, but yeah, it makes sense. You know, she helped us out, gave us the... Threw us a party, gave us the dream rock. Time to repay the favor. So friends are four, am I right, am I right? I think I'm right. Alright. <clears throat> so now we've got the power of flight. <laughs> Here's the cutscene. Uh, Kinda cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> See that rudder on that thing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the rudder. Thought those were supposed to be on the tail. I don't know. What do I know? <sighs> Alright. So I cruised over to the island on the far right there. Kind of pointless. I thought I couldn't remember if there was a, a tab in this one or not. What's the name of it here? The Sun Keep, yes. Uh, this this will be used later on. I'm in the Sunstone side quest. Um, I forget if it's I forget what time age, so this, this place is present in all time ages, all the way to the future. Um, I, I just don't remember, there's one of them, one of the, maybe even two of them, two of the time periods that have, uh, it's either a, a power tab or a magic tab or something, some, some tab. But, uh, like I said, I don't remember which one it was, so. And I checked that one, and obviously that was not the one. So. No big deal, I guess. Alright, so it looks like I made a quick save and. Yeah, let's continue on. Not a bad idea to save, you know? This is the next dungeon's kind of long. Kind of a. Ah, oh, there's an annoying part. Probably I'll try to explain it well once I get there, but. Basically, there's a part with. There's teleporters on the ground, and uh, you really gotta know where to stand to get all the treasures in the particular area. So I will try to do. I, I'm not gonna cut it at all. I I cruised around in there a little bit, and you'll get a good idea of, of where the uh, teleporters take you just by watching watching this. But there is a spot, and I'll I'll point it out. It's kind of like a, a key spot where uh, where you can get the last treasure. Because I, in my opinion, uh, the majority of the treasures are really easy to get, but there's a one that's a little less intuitive. So, like I said, once we get there, once I hit that spot, I'll I'll explain it as best I can. And here, the reptites ah, uh, pretty weak against physical attacks. Again, Chrono's pretty buff. Ayla does a decent damage though here too. I uh, can't remember if I think they're kind of weak against magic too. So you know if you find you're you're not hitting them very hard with physical attacks, then go ahead and um, just switch to switch to magic, I guess. Find out what works best for you. I like I said, I just I want the physical route. And Ayla's pretty. 
It was pretty beefy. I want to say after this, after this fight, I kind of contemplated giving her the Berserker. You know, just to, just to give her a little more. And I don't know. I don't think that would have been such a bad idea. I don't know why I didn't go through. I want to say it's actually just because I was, I was planning on stealing a little more, but I really didn't. <clears throat> I only stole once or twice in this whole place. And I just... You know, in hindsight, I think I, I really could have gotten away with the Berserker. It wouldn't have, wouldn't have been a big deal. <laughs> it's the apes. That one in the bottom right corner just looks like he's completely taken back. Like, whoa! I don't know. I guess it's the strike animation when you land a hit on him. Funny. Um, but yeah, like I said, not. And these things need to be so weak. Okay, I think I have pretty decent armor right now, but still. Uh, these, they, generally everything goes down here pretty good. I guess there's one, I want to say the Megasaur. I don't know if, I don't know if that's right or not. Or that's the Pterosaur. It might be the Pterosaur. Um, that one requires a quick lightning bolt. To lower its defense. And here, I don't. It seems kind of strange. So we tried the switch, the switch didn't work, and Ayla kind of goes berserk. <coughs> I don't know what her plan was, though. Like, so now you're in the jail with. You know, I don't. I guess it was to just power. Just brute force your way through the bars. It's kind of a weak jail, kind of, kind of lame. So, Ayla basically tells Kino that if something happens to her, then he's gonna have to take over. He's gonna have to man up. Strange dialogue. Strange, strange dialogue there. And here I went the wrong way. You, you want to go right first. You can dump those... Dump those things down below. Yeah, so I kind of wasted a little time. But, ah, you know, well, what do you do? I guess it ended up being more tech points for everybody. There's a couple of random battles here. <coughs> Um, I think that you trigger if you walk on certain areas on the floor. Uh, you know, minor stuff. It's pretty much just trash. Nothing real. Nothing difficult, that's for sure. One neat thing, though, if you target the volcano first and you don't one-shot it, if you don't just kill it with one hit, it'll do a area of effect damage, or just, it actually will just damage everything. Um, all the enemy enemies anyway. So again, and here's the pterosaur. Those are, those you got a shock. Uh, hit, just tar hit him with the lightning spell before you can do any decent damage to him. And here, it, I don't think these things are really worth stealing, but anyways, they have a lapis. I believe it is. Two, two twin charms failed in a row. Which is very, very strange. Just got really unlucky. But anyways, uh, so I did steal that, and here, here the thing became unshocked, and I don't know if it's, it, you use two, two skills on them, or if it's just a timed thing, but it wore off, and then I attacked him, and he counterattacks, and I just took a bunch of extra damage that I really shouldn't have. But you know what? Not the end of the world. We survived. <laughs> I just used a rock throw just, just to end it quick. Just destroyed him. <coughs> so 
So yeah, I don't, again, I don't know if it's two attacks and the shock wears off or if it's just, you know, a certain amount of time goes by. So there's the first tonic. There are war like there's warps everywhere in here. You really gotta learn which ways to go. It can be really annoying to get through here. Right back to the entrance again. Oh, see that topper. I'm not sure if I equipped that right away. Looks like I did. <sighs> That's not bad. And equipped a mist robe. Which I don't know if that was the right call or not. You know, a lot of stuff uses fire damage in here, and she. Ayla probably could have benefited. Maybe more from the ruby vest, but you know what? It's all good. We did okay. So that's how to get the, this revive. And that spot right there is the talent. There's a. You actually have to be there to get to that last treasure up there. You can't physically walk to this treasure because you warp every path that you try to get. Yeah, I assume that's another warp right there. So you can't actually reach that treasure unless you warp to it. So we'll come back to that, I believe, because... Yeah, I think... Uh, I'm hoping I walked back out of here. <coughs> Maybe I did grab it. Who knows? I guess I stood around for a little bit though. Kind of chilled. Took it easy. <sighs> um, but anyways, I did. Uh, like I said, I kind of skipped over one of the areas, so I believe, I believe right after this is when I go back and explore the other, the other spot. Yeah, I really, I really took my time, apparently. Kind of just stood around like a bump on a log. Oh. Any day now, any day now, like, there we go. So yeah, so here's the spot. So you have to teleport, and that's right there. You have to stand on that square to get here. There we go, and that's the miso mail. So again, if you've spent, you know, a lot of time power leveling like I did, that miso mail isn't gonna be. I don't think that's even an upgrade for anybody. You know, depending. And is this where I turn? I think this is where I turn back. Yep, I realized that that was the. That was the way to keep going. So. Kind of gotta rewind here a little bit. Go back the way we came. <coughs> And here, oh, I did avoid those. I thought I got in a fight there, but I guess not. So here, this is the way I should have gone first. Just come out here. And, oh, what did I do? Yeah, it's a full tonic, and I knew that switch was going to drop me down, and I shouldn't have taken it, but I did anyway. So these are all the monsters that you drop through the holes up above when you hit the switches and like I said I should have just I knew that was a trap but whatever you know what learn from my mistakes don't don't hit the right switch just take your full tonic and run but okay oh, not the end of the world a little more tech. This can be, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a difficult fight. There's a lot of, a lot of guys to take down in this fight, but they do go down pretty quick, so again, not the end of the world. So, I went and saw the the new movie, 47 Ronin, with Mr. Keanu Reeves. Not bad. Not a bad little story. 
I think Keanu had very, very few lines, which, you know, depending on if you, if you love or hate the guy, can be a good thing. Um, but not a bad, not a bad show, not a bad flick, movie. And I didn't, didn't quite make it by these this time without getting in a fight, but whatevs. Not the end of the world. Make pretty quick work of this stuff. Yeah. Getting way too tired. I gotta stop doing these at four o'clock in the morning. It's getting, getting way too late to be doing videos and trying, trying to remember what I did. So, all right, that one's done. Make our way back through the teleporter area here. Well, not before I get into another fight with some flying weird looking thing. The Avian Rex. So yeah, Tyranno Lair, not, uh, not, not a bad place for gaining, um, tech points. Um, not my favorite place, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't like leveling here by any means, but there's a ton of forced fights or a bunch of fights regardless. I don't know if you call them forced or not, but... Nice little trick again. We just attack the volcano to make them spew lava on the reptites. Well, I don't know if the ruby vest reduces damage from those or not. I would sure assume it does, but don't quote me. I could be wrong on that. It's generally a good idea to have those on for this place. Um, can really help reduce damage. And this area is just annoying. Ah, man, I just... Every time I come through here on a playthrough, I get annoyed. It's like the, uh... Denadaro Mountains, or whatever. Those, like... It's like four or five fights right in a row that you can't run, run from. It's just fight after fight after fight. It gets... It gets real annoying. This guy... Did it need a cube toss? No. But you know what? We went for it anyway. That was that was way overkill on that thing. And maybe if I had walked, maybe if I walked in different areas, I don't know where where the triggers for the fights are, or if they just aren't, you know, avoidable at all. I'm not sure. But. Anything to me. That's really weak. I guess. <laughs> who cares if you got a, a ruby vest on or not when it's doing like 20 damage max? <coughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely not gonna take your party down. <coughs> Oof, duh, excuse me. I do like that. Is it the demon blade? Chronos got that does look pretty sweet. Ugh. This is fight fight three, I think. <coughs> like I said, maybe you can avoid some of these fights if you if you take a little different approach, but I'm not sure. Kind of wish I would have tried, but you know what? It's a little too late now. Maybe if you're watching this, you can try 
I uh, try a different route? Seven tech points. <laughs> That's really weak. It's really a weak amount of tech points for for that fight, but whatever. All right, so I don't remember. I want to say that right switch opens up. It, I think it opens up the mouth, and you don't have to fight. I think. But you know what? I picked wrong. I guess. Pick the left, and the left makes these dudes pop out. Super annoying. Here <laughs> I use the volcano again to to hit the other dude. <coughs> Hit the pterosaur and yeah, yeah, that was way overkill on that cube toss, man. I really went crazy there. Maybe I was so annoyed. I don't know. All right, so there's the switch and that opens up the gate. <coughs> and here, it's, I think it's one or two more fights. Just. <laughs> Now that the gate's open, I had to fight back to it. Again, it's just this place is super annoying. Maybe it's because, uh... I think the other thing was, these guys got their attacks off before I could... I don't know, and I one-shot that, that's right. I wanted to, to hit that volcano and make it explode and then hit this volcano and then kill everything, but... Uh, it didn't work out that way. 22 tech points. You know, that's not bad. And Ayla learned Dino Tail. <coughs> I think I was curious to see where my techs... Where my tech learning was at. Luminaire was at 290, so it's coming right up. And then Triple Kick is her best. And man, once she gets that... Um, once Ayla learns that triple tech, she gets... <sighs> Did I say that triple tech? Once she learns that tech, she gets... Or you can use the triple tech. Oh man, now I'm trying to remember the name of it. Final kick? I think it's called final kick. It's, uh... Chrono's lightning 2, Marl's ice 2, and Ayla's triple kick. And man, does it ever do a lot of damage to a single target. Huge. I don't know if it's the hardest hitting triple tech in the game. It might be. <coughs> I'm not sure though. I guess it's been too long since I've tested. Ah, uh, but that that's gonna bring this. Yeah, it's gonna bring this video to a close. We'll we'll fight Nizbel too in the next video. You just said Azala's in the back and. All I did is save here. Once you continue north, that's what triggers the Nisbell 2 fight. So that'll be coming right up in the next video. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. But at least, hopefully, you're, you're liking these videos and you'll join me for the next one. And uh, Alright, see you there.